Hello friends, the PPT Pro here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this creative team presentation and animation in small simple steps. You will find the link to the template down in the description box. Enough said, let's roll! So before we start, I just want to thank Justin Wardrobe and Mr. Pias for their beautiful comments. Hello again. So first thing, we're going to change the color of the background. We're going to take the color from the color palette over there. Nice. Now I'll insert a big title, calling it the team. So it's in black, you can see it very well. I'll make it bigger with that. Then I'll change the color and uh, the font. Choose the white color and for the font I will choose Switzer. Switzer black. Lovely. Now I will turn them all capital letters. Nice. So this is the first slide. Next step is to duplicate this slide like that. Then move the title to the top right there. Make it smaller so we can put the content down or below it. So here what we're gonna insert i'm gonna insert a rounded corner rectangle vertically like that then i'm gonna remove the outlines then change its color to the green from the color palette nice so now i'll hit control then duplicate it Move it to the side right there, nice. Then do it multiple times until we reach five rounded corner rectangles. Nice. So I think that the title is a little bit bigger, so I reduce its size right there. Nice. And I'll group all this rounded corner rectangle, then reduce their size as well. Nice. Center them with the center of the slide, then ungroup them. Lovely. Now it's the part of inserting the lines. Before we do that, we're gonna insert guidelines to each rectangle. So this is the first one. I'm going to hit control to duplicate it and put it to the next one and the other and so on. So control drag and put it in the center of the rectangle. Right there. Nice. Now we have our vertical guidelines. We need one horizontal guideline which is this one. So I'm going to put it right there. Nice. This is a convenient place for it. Lovely. So now we're going to insert the lines. So we go to insert shapes, then choose the line right there. Freedom lines. So I'll draw this type of line. Following the guides. Nice. When we finish, we hit enter. Nice. Now I'll change the color. As you can see, this is the shape of the line. So you will understand later why I did those diagonal lines. So here's why. So I can make them curved like that. It's pretty easy to do it this way. Nice. So this is our first lovely, very curved, stylish line. <laughs> Too much words. 
yeah so i'll change the weight of this line to two quarter right there then i'll hit control then duplicate it so before we do that we're gonna round the ends of the lines nice so let's hit control and duplicate it nice so the second line is ready let's move to the third one for the third line we gonna insert a straight line from there then put it right there with the third rectangle we'll give it the same settings as the other ones which means the way to quarter and round ends so now i'm gonna group those two curved lines so after that i'll duplicate them by holding ctrl and drag make sure that the end of the lines will be aligned with the middle line then flip them horizontally like that nice so this is how i made the lines lovely now i'll insert the names of the team members directly like that so we can save some time to do something else so let's duplicate the second slide then remove the curved line like that nice so now we're gonna display one of the team members so i'll try to choose john path so i'll move it right there then move those three to the right of the slide nice so i'll move them up a little bit right there so here i'll stretch the rectangle of john path the team member then i'll put his picture right there so i'll borrow it from the presentation that i already did nice i'll make it a little bit smaller so it can fit the rectangle then i'll move to front the name of the team member so the name isn't that visible because it's on a white background so i'll change its color to the color of the rectangle so here i'll borrow also the profession of the team member and a description of his missions nice lovely so we finished with this slide one more step here we're gonna copy the picture of this team member then paste it to the second slide right there so i'll put it right there behind his name then i'll crop it to match the size of the rectangle i'm pretty sure that you are confused about these steps what i'm doing this so the answer is to preserve a good transition between this slide and this next one so here the picture won't be visible so i'll turn the transparency 100 percent right there so like there is nothing well now you know so let's move to the third slide let's duplicate it and try to do a, another team member so now to save some time let's remove these elements and add this one 
copy them and paste them to the slide. Now we're gonna stretch the rectangle related to Mark Brown. So let's do that. And let's round the rectangles right there. Then move his name. Nice. Let's borrow his picture from this presentation. I'll copy it and paste it to this slide right there. Nice. Now I'll move it right there. I'll bring the name to front. Then move the picture under it. So we change the name color to the color of the rectangle. As the previous slide. Then we're gonna borrow the title of this team member and his mission. And put them right there. Well now we're gonna repeat the steps we did with the other one. So I'll copy the picture. Then paste it. To that slide. And crop it according to the rectangle. nice then bring the name to front after that make it transparent so i'll copy this transparent picture by holding ctrl c then i'll paste it to the third slide right there you can see it but we can see only the outlines and I'll put it right there. Then I'll bring the name to front. Lovely. Now we are finished with the design of this presentation. So let's move to the animation. So this is the animation part. So in this part, we're going to animate the lines and the names. So I'll select all the lines. I'll change the color to a lighter green. So this is the way I do it, right there, so it will blend with the rectangle, then I'll copy each name and put it on the top of those names with the lighter green, like that. Then turn it to white. So I repeat the process with the other names. So I finished with putting names. Now let's add the animation. Select the first line, then add wipe animation. Change its direction from top to down. So here's the animation pane. I'll use it to display the state of the animation. So to see the duration. As here, I'm changing the duration to one second. Like that. So here I'll add the animation to the name, first name, choose fade animation. So on the animation pane, let's change it to start with previous, both of the animations, and delay the second animation, like that. So from here, let's repeat the process to the other lines and names. Let's copy each animation to the next line using the copy animation tool as you can see and don't forget to delay the animations so we have that smooth step-by-step -step 
appearing lovely now we are finished with all the animations let's turn a preview nice now let's add the action button to the first name let's select the name and go to insert action button then hyperlink to choose slide then we're gonna choose the slide that we want to link to that name which is obviously the third slide so let's link this name with the fourth slide we repeat in the same steps choose slide 4 and hit ok so now to not forget let's link the names here too so mark brown we're gonna link it with the fourth slide nice then move to the fourth slide then link john path with the third slide so now we are finished with linking names the next step is to select all slide by holding ctrl a and go to transition and apply the morph transition this is the key point if you don't have the morph transition we can't get that animation so let's roll the test nice the first animation goes smoothly so let's select the first name right there nice and the second one nice let's go back to the first one and this is it about this tutorial i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe and like the video you will find the template to this presentation on the description box and remember always to be creative and be safe. Thank you.